This is lesson 67 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. Today we're going over else statements. So this is introducing else statements. So when a condition for an if statement is true, the block of code following it is executed. What about when that condition is false? Normally nothing would happen. With an else statement, an alternate block of code can be executed. And there's an example to give us. It checks if num is greater than 10. It will run this code, but if not, it will run this else, which will run return 10 or less. Instructions combine the if statements into a single if else statement. So they have this these two if statements and they want an else. So instead of here where if is, we can erase it and just write else. And this makes sense. You don't really need to write if val less than or equal to 5 because this pretty much will check if val is greater than 5. Well, if this is false, then automatically we know that val is less than or equal to 5. So you don't really need to write it like that. You can just say else. And again, that works. Same, same way. Less code to write. It's a little better. And that should be it for this lesson. You should only have one if statement, which we do. You should use an else statement, which we did. And we're good.